Mayor John Whitmire announced an independent panel to review the Houston Police Department's handling of suspended cases. This comes weeks after Houston police announced 264,000 cases were not investigated because of lack, uh, lack of investigators. Liliana Pearson joins us live from outside HPD headquarters. So do we know who will be on this panel, Liliana? We actually don't right now. The mayor telling us that that announcement should come in the coming days, and that really seems to be par for the course with this whole mess. We're given a small brief update and then told part two of that update is going to be coming at a later time, but we're never really told when that time is going to be. And for the victims and the victim advocates that we've spoken to, this fluid timeline has been frustrating. Don't give up hope, you know, continue to call. Um, you know, if if you want to continue pursuing charges, especially in a sexual assault case, call, bug them, let them know that you're that you still want to be a part of your case. You want to you want justice done for what was done to you. After eight years of cases being suspended, getting a case looked at may take more than just reminding an investigator. I feel there's a clear message to Houston. With 264,000 cases left matter. uninvestigated, we're starting to see some of the first repercussions for a code many say should have never existed. The code, a title assigned to cases when it was determined there weren't enough investigators to work the case. I'm quite frankly I'm glad I'm here today so I can lead the charge to fix that. We now know assistant chiefs Kevin Deese and Ernest Garcia were demoted over the failure. We learned assistant chiefs are in charge of signing off on changes in the Houston Police Handbook, a handbook that as of last week still contained the code allowing cases to go to the wayside. We do not know if Deese and Garcia had a hand in approving the handbook. Today, Houston Police Union Vice President Ken Neely says they also haven't been given any answers. We did have recently the chief of police did make some decisions to demote some um, people off the command staff from the assistant chief. We're not sure why he made the decision that is his decision. We really won't speak on that. Um, ABC 13 has filed that. a number of open records requests asking surrounding agencies if they have a similar practice of setting cases aside because they don't have the manpower of those who have responded. It's been a resounding no across the board. And we have been reaching out to the Houston Police Department for weeks asking for somebody to be made available and to give us some sort of update. But they've just been saying at some point a press conference will be held today. We're learning that press conference will be tomorrow at 1130. Of course, we do plan to be there, guys. Now, Liliana, you've been covering this story quite a bit. What unanswered questions are you hoping police address tomorrow? I think we're really hoping to learn if there are currently enough investigators to get to every case on top of the cases in addition that they now do have to get to. We know that this case or that this code was created back in 2016 when there was an intense staffing shortage, but we've learned that there still is a staffing shortage going on and that this code may have been used as recently as last week. So with the code gone, with a staffing shortage still going on, will there be enough investigators to investigate all the police? Police reports that are coming in. We have learned from the union that this fiscal year they are expecting to add at least 300 additional officers to their force. Of course, it does take years for somebody to become an investigator. From downtown, I'm Liliana Pearson, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Liliana, thank you.